Hey everyone, FishyWizard5 here, and today I want to talk about today's update. The update to RuneScape 3, more specifically. So let me pull up the update and go over what changes Jagex made. So here is the update on the main page. So I scroll down. First thing that we see is some cosmetics. It's an override that is in the Solomon store. Okay, that's good. I mean, cosmetics in games is good. But for this to be the very, very first thing that we see on this weekly update page, uh, not, <laughs> not the thing you want to see at the top. Okay, then we're going through some combat beta discussions. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, the combat beta that is currently being tested is the rebalance to magic ranged and melee so they match with necromancy in terms of the hit chance accuracy changes and the crit changes as well as well as the hit cap changes so you know this is something that's been ongoing now for i feel like it's going on month four so it's been going on for quite a while i'm not sure why jags jagex is so slow on these changes and scroll down some more, and we see a newsletter. Okay, just some stats. Sure. I guess we're going to get our our personal letters. Uh, a Prime Gaming Drop connect connected to Twitch. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Sure. I don't know. I don't know why this is an update related to RuneScape, though. Uh, some maintenance, okay. Treasure Hunter calendars, you know, some more MTX. And some patch notes. So what do we got in these patch notes? Uh, some herbs, okay. They're nerfing the herb bag already, but I guess it kind of makes sense. It was unintended to hold unlimited herbs. Uh, some wiki button. Fixing the Phase 7 Zami rune, so they now revive with more hp which was good should have been like that on release some christmas stuff changes sure okay this this change to raziel in particular is really funny i'll give you guys some context so they basically made a change where your accuracy is a bit lower now on raziel especially if you're using the not necromancy equipment so most of you are probably confused on why this matters because for the vast majority of us this change is going to effectively do nothing because you're already going to raziel with all your best necromancy gear and just killing him but the thing that this actually nerfs are the people that were trying to afk raziel using full crip bloom armor with necromancy yeah, I didn't know about this until I read it on Reddit, where people were talking about how this nerfed the the uh, the AFK Raziel method, which, you know, if, if you're asking me, I feel like that's probably the correct move, because you want to be using Necromancy to fight the Necromancer. So, overall, uh, good change, I would say. And some, a whole lot of graphical changes. Uh, some stuff with typos, looks like, and, uh, minor things here and there. Some, uh, some small fixes. A lot of these really tiny fixes, which is, which are good. These are good things to occur. You know, like typos and all that. You you want your game to be as polished as possible. Definitely. And that's it. And there's a bunch of... Oh, jeez. What the heck? Uh, hope, hopefully the stream didn't catch that. But, uh... <laughs>
That's pretty much it. It's just a bunch of community stuff. So, as you guys probably have already been alluded to when I first started this, talking about how the very first thing that they're showing is just an outfit. RuneScape and Jagex, especially in RS3, old school is a little, is, you know, is completely different game with different devs and whatnot. RS3 is going through a pretty bad content drought, I would say. And, you know, I'm, I, I don't know anything about Jagex's internal team and what they're going through. But I'll be honest, and this might be kind of harsh to them, as as somebody who somebody who's paying for a subscription based game. I don't think us as players, I don't think that we should be able to allow them to just go for literal months without content. It it is quite baffling to me how. It is kind of just accepted as the norm in RS3 now. Because people are paying, you know, a lot of money every month to be playing a game where they're effectively not providing us much content. And if you guys have have watched my last video, which I'll link somewhere below about the Treasure Hunter drama, the Treasure Hunter drama is only really drama, in my opinion, because there's just no content. We need content in the game to distract us from Jagex pulling all these, you know, sleight of hand tricks to to finesse us of our of our IRL credit card. You know, with with the uh, if I go back in game. Uh, let me close the window. You know, if I'm if I'm if I'm going on Treasure Hunter and I'm I'm looking like, oh, I want these uh I want these promos, but I, I don't have I don't have any keys, so I need to spend money to get these keys. Well, people wouldn't complain so much about this if if we actually had a game to play while this was all happening. And what what does all this content drought affect? Well, look at the price of bonds. The price of bonds have just astronomically skyrocketed. Like, look at this change. And this isn't even honestly the 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 going price for bonds right now. The GE price is 90, 91 mil. But people have been reporting the price on you know third party websites to be like a hundred, hundred ten mil. Why? It's because nobody is buying bonds with their IRL money. Like, what? What's the point in buying bonds? There's, there's no reason for me to invest my own IRL money into this game when there's no game to play. There's just no new content. A, a lot of people just, you know, they're like me who have pretty much done everything that they want to do in this game, and they're just waiting for more content. Or they're newer players that are looking for content to do but you know the content that's available is not they they're just bored of it and there's just nothing else to do because we're just not getting updates so i believe and i truly believe most of if not all of jagex's problems right now could be fixed by just providing us content. That's it. You you can try to shove as many microtransactions as you possibly can. Cosmetic ones, of course. We're, we're, we're going to cross a completely different bridge if microtransactions can all of a sudden, you know, unlock a new aura that does, like, that increases your damage by, like, 20%. Like, no, that's bad. But, you know, all these... Cosmetic micro microtransactions are totally okay if we're busy doing something else, you know? Something that doesn't take longer than, 
like two days for a person to finish. So yeah, sorry if this ended up as a, sort of a rant, I guess, about the current state of RS3. But I just believe this game, which is in a rough shape right now, sh could be and should be in a much better spot. And it is definitely on the onus of Jagex to, to fix all of this. So yeah. Let me know what all of you guys think about the current state of RS. If you agree or disagree with anything I've had to say, drop a comment below. A like would definitely help. And, uh, you know, if you guys enjoy playing RuneScape 3 or you want it to be better, uh, please uh, help spread this video around. It might be able to get some more eyes. Maybe someone on Jagex will realize the issues, hopefully, if they haven't already realized, which, I'll be honest, it's kind of hard if I was working at Jagex to not see the issues, but that's just me. Alright, thanks everyone for watching, and have a good one.